You're back with Sky News and Campaign 2011. David, okay, on that cautious approach uh, to Peter Dunn, um, the arena, which has been a disaster, they think has killed a couple of thousand birds. Possums and other predators kill 26 million birds each year, mm -hmm. and your party is opposed to 1080. Wouldn't the halting of 1080 be a far, far greater ecological disaster well, for New Zealand about? than a thousand arena? A recent Mirai Digi poll found that over 60% of respondents said they actually backed the Māori Party stance on the Marine and Coastal Area Bill. So doesn't that actually imply that their stance was the correct one that had the most support from Māori them? But they backed the stance on it was the best deal they could get. And there's a saying that sometimes perfect <laughs> is the enemy of good. And do you feel that perhaps a description sometimes applied to you and the mana party on these issues, that because you're striving for the perfect outcome, you don't compromise to get the best deal going? To brash them on one law for all. Mm. Isn't customary title, though, in fact, recognised as part of common law mm. throughout the Commonwealth? <laughs> Fairfax polls showed that most Green Party voters say John Key's their preferred Prime Minister. And most fascinating, a TV poll found that 60% of Green voters said that if John Key offers you some sort of coalition deal, you should say yes. So my question is, would you like John Key if he forms the government? To, to Peter Dunn, you've been perhaps the ultimate swinger in the past, gone both ways, but this time I believe you're only saying that national is an option. Why have you ruled well, well, out Labor? We ruled out working with national, at, uh, sorry, with Labor at various points in the 90s. Um, Dr Brace, what's the major thing if you're negotiating an agreement with National that you would like from them? Usually ACT has been demanding tax cuts, but would you accept that until New Zealand's back into surplus, further tax cuts would be unwise? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you can't cut taxes when you're running an $18 billion deficit.